What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is February 23rd, 2021. It's a Tuesday and man oh man, when I woke up today, I actually, you know, I didn't even have a chance to look at the market when I woke up. It was about, I think, 8.15, between 8.15 and 8.30 uh, central time. So 8.30 is when the market opens for me. And I just seen a text from my buddy and I forgot what he said, but he said something like the market bursted or something like that. And then he put like a sad face or something. And I just knew, I was like, you know, I knew Monday was already bad and I was terrified to see how much worse it could be for him to put a sad face. Cause he doesn't use emojis very often. But he put a sad face emoji this time. And I was like, you know, it's gotta be pretty serious for him to use an emoji like that. And sure enough, I looked at it after I snoozed one more time and it was a little bit just barely after the market had opened after 8 30 so it was like 8 35 8 40 somewhere around there and when i opened my robin hood account on the app it was just a mountain that was getting bigger and bigger and you know i was down i think six grand within five or six minutes of the market being open and i was like i don't I don't know if I want to keep on looking because every second that I was watching it, it was going lower and lower by the hundreds, not even like by five, 10 bucks. It was like by a hundreds. And by the time I looked at like all my options and all that stuff, I was down like seven grand. And then by 8:45 to nine o'clock, I was down almost nine and a half thousand dollars. And just that alone, I was like, you know, if this doesn't stop now, it's only it's only been like 30 35 minutes since the market's been open i'm down almost 10 grand like it better calm down or something but instead of panicking which i know a lot of people would do like it looked a lot like back in march of last year when the pandemic and the you know cities and states shutting down and all that stuff and the market crash it looked very similar to that except now i got more money in my account compared to then so you know the drops were a lot bigger than back then but anyways instead of panicking and selling everything that I had for a loss I didn't I was actually thinking you know what should I buy but I was kind of scared because I didn't know if this was going to keep on happening for the rest of the week if this was just a one-day thing you, know, you can't really predict it very easily but all I knew was big tech was down and yeah so I looked at all my options because I didn't have any buying power at the time and even if I did try to transfer money from Robin or my bank to Robinhood, it'd only be a thousand dollars right away, and then I'd have to wait like three days for the actual money to transfer. So that wasn't really an option either. So I was like, okay, let me sell some of these options that are gonna pretty much be an L for me, or if any are still in the money and green right now, and I can sell those and just use it. But of course, nothing was green for me today at that time, at least. So I decided to sell the options that were expiring soon. So the ones that were expiring either this month or next month. And those two were uh, Salesforce, which was big tech, and then Chewy, which is not big tech, but an online company, retail. Uh, so I sold those two at a big loss and I just wanted some money to throw in somewhere. And sure enough, I was looking through my watch list and you can probably see it right here, the second one. I saw Tesla was down quite a bit. And so if we look at it, when I seen it, it was like, like I said, like nine, nine fifteen, somewhere around there. And this is at eight fifty. It was down to six hundred and twenty-one dollars, down almost a hundred dollars for the day. And I know Tesla, you know, I made a lot of the money I've got in my account was from a Tesla option, a long term one. I made like 15 grand off of it back then. And so I know Tesla, it has its runs. I know it's been slowing down a lot recently. I even mentioned it in a video. I think it was yesterday actually. And you know what, I've seen it this far down. And when I looked at it, it was about right, it wasn't this high. <clears throat> it was about right here. This is when I was like, okay, it's already making its run back up. And I know once Tesla gets that little momentum going, there's no stopping it. And so I bought the fastest contract I could. You know, I wanted a little bit farther in. So I got a March 12th expiration call. And I could only get one because I only had 
about 1900 buying power from the sales that I did real quick. And so I was able to buy one. And sure enough, I mean, just today alone, I made basically $1,000, which is kind of, you know, manipulating or uh, it's not exactly, you know, how much it would have gave me because that was at close, which was what right here, right there. So it actually dipped down right there to 698, but it's high for the day. Again, I, I don't think you could see it on the app or the website, but the high for the day was like 713 or something like that. And it was actually right around here when it happened. It was only for like a split second. It was like 713. And my return was 98%. It was about close to $1,800, somewhere around there. And I was so close to selling it. In fact, I was actually trying to sell this one call before the market closed. Like if you look at my my history, like I, I wanted to sell it so bad. In fact, I was trying to sell it for quite a quite a discount when I first got it, like right here. I was trying to sell it at $25. And then when you look at the next one, 38. Like look at the difference between that. And then the next one, I think I went even higher, 39. This was for 100% return for the day. I did my math wrong and I thought it was 39. And then this is right before close. I was just trying to get rid of it. So I was trying to sell it at 30. But maybe it was a blessing in disguise that no one bought it. Because if you didn't see, it's up $20 in after hours right now. So this is before after hours, $980. So this is higher than the than the high for the day by like five or six bucks. So, and it's still going up. So if, if everything goes smoothly tomorrow, nothing happens tonight, Elon Musk doesn't, you know, tweet out another eggplant emoji, or do nothing stupid, then this should just shoot up for the most part and everything should slowly start correcting itself from what happened today. In fact, at like 9.15, 9.30 today, you know, everything kind of started going back up and it, I was down, like I said, almost 10 grand at the worst part of the day in the morning. And by the end of the day, I was only down three grand. So I was a happy camper, you know, being only down 3000, that's like a normal red day for me for the most part, a little bit more than usual, but still kind of like a normal red day. So I was fine with it. But Tesla, you know, you can never question Tesla. Um, of course I was because I was trying to sell it. But that's because I've been having bad luck by holding something overnight that I've had big profits on. Like the last two contracts I had, I had like a $500 return one day and then the next day I was down $500. So it was like a thousand dollar reversal. And so I'm scared that was gonna happen to Tesla. It still could, I don't know. But my break even price is $744 the stock price. And I got till March 12th, which is I think two weeks. Not this Friday, not the next Friday, but the Friday after that. So I got a good amount of time, especially if it does another good run. Um, I think the main reason it's been going down was because of the whole Bitcoin investment and some people weren't a fan of that. But you know, it is what it is. Elon is a little mastermind of his own. He knows what he's doing. He's not gonna do something stupid in terms of investments. Um, yes, yeah, that's, that's like the only upside I had today, honestly. Because as you can see, all my options are trashed. Um, well, I don't count 1% and 3%, and especially Nokia, come on, it's Nokia. Uh, I don't count that as a, as a positive. My stocks, my actual stocks and shares, they did pretty good today. They came back from the death of this morning pretty nicely. Uh, American Airlines and Marathon Oil, especially Marathon Oil, did really good today. $350 up, almost at $500 return, which before I even said, I was down two to three grand on this, not too long ago really. And so I'm happy about that. And then Zom, it was a very ugly morning for Zom, that's for sure. It was down. When I seen it, I seen it down here. I was like, whoo. <laughs> and then it went back up and then it kind of steadied down. Hopefully tomorrow will be back to normal for, you know, the, the uh, lower $2 range, like 215s. Um, and then 
USWS. Where'd he go? This one. I was so close to buying some more. Not not when it was I I didn't even think about buying this one honestly until way too late. It was like right here, I think. Because I had a limit buy that didn't get executed for a dollar sixty. And I mean it was there for a good minute. It was right around here is when I put that limit right there. It was like right on this income or increase. But it didn't hit, unfortunately. I mean it wasn't too many shares anyways, but how many was it? 35 like that's nothing. But that one already came back to the two dollar range, so if that one does, I'm sure Zom will be there very soon. Um, there's another one that my buddy told me about just today. He said this one right here, he's very hopeful for. I'll probably throw in some, some money into it. It's ticker is, what is it? It's M-O-T-S. Um, it's like a prostate something or another company. I need to do my research on it. He was telling me about it and it's like this device that they have is like a game changer for our your prostate exam and all that kind of stuff and so they got a it's like FDA approved and there's a patent on it and all this other stuff and so I'm you know it's already looking better than like after hours it was up to the two dollar range again and then it came back down so I mean I'm glad it came down so I could buy it at a lower price and not you know this high price but that's another one I'm going to look into. And then, of course, cryptocurrency got hit real hard. Like someone hit it with a hammer in the back of the head without it looking. But Bitcoin, I think, took the bigger hit of them all. Yeah, they were chilling. Well, they're about right here, I'd say. 54, 55,000. And they went all the way down to 45. So that sucks for Bitcoin, but it looks like it's already coming back up. And same thing for Dogecoin. You know, you can't you can't keep Dogecoin down for very long, of course. It went down hard pretty pretty badly today. I know it was at the low fours. And I was actually close to, to buying some more Dogecoin. But like I said, I'm not buying more until I see it back in that low three range. Anything higher than that is not worth it for me in terms of the price point. Um, but as you can see, Dogecoin as well is making its comeback. I'm sure it'll be at five cents by tomorrow sometime if not by tonight and yeah that's all I got for you guys today it looks like everything is slowly getting better maybe tomorrow by me more of sideways trading for the most part and then hopefully by Thursday things will be looking more positive and bullish but I guess we'll have to wait and find out let me know let me know how uh, Tuesday went for you guys especially the morning how big the loss in percent or you know actual money did you see when you woke up or you might already been up um, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.